I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting video on the concepts of relating displacement velocity and acceleration. As you all know, displacement normally we write in terms of variable s and we say variable s is a function of time and we could write some relation, right? Velocity is derivative of s or rate of change of displacement, right? So we say velocity at any instance of time is equal to ds over dt, right? And s is normally a function of time, right? So we get velocity. As far as the acceleration is concerned, acceleration is rate of change of velocity, right? So we sometimes write this in different notation, which is prime notation, right? So v prime t, it is same as d v d t right so which is which is same as d v d t right where v is a function of time now so that is how displacement velocity and acceleration are related so if i have let us say some equation let me write some simple equation as let's say 2 t square plus 5 in that case velocity is going to be the derivative of this function which is 4t and acceleration will be derivative of this function which is 4 right so we get all the three correct and of course if the units of displacement are in meters then units of velocity will be in meters per second that is over dt and then units for acceleration will be meters per second square now, using these methods, we can easily solve most of the questions related to displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Now comes the main question, right? This is for my students who want to get 90 plus, right? Now, I say that I have a relation velocity which is not a function of time directly, right? But I am writing velocity as a function of displacement so let me write down a function here that velocity is equal to i'll write down a similar equation 2s square plus 5 for example correct so this time i've changed my equation there is a considerable change what am i saying here i'm saying that my displacement is actually proportional to square of partially proportional to square of displacement right kind of like this now my question for you is find acceleration so what i want you to find is find acceleration right this is what i want you to find so you can pause the video and answer this question if you can answer this question that means that you really understood the concept very well now here is my thought about it, which you can apply and really answer this question. Okay, so let's get back to the relationship between velocity, acceleration, and time. Now, what we need to find here is acceleration from velocity, which is function of displacement. Now, I cannot write uh, acceleration as uh, dv over dt, correct? since we see that uh, velocity is actually a function of displacement in the given equation not time so we need to have derivative with respect to displacement right so somehow acceleration should be related with displacement right so so we'll explore how acceleration and displacement are related when we are given a relation between velocity and displacement correct so that is the relation which we are looking for now the idea is that what you know is acceleration is equals to dv dt right so that is what we know when velocity is given to us as function of time now uh, what we really want to know is how acceleration could be written as a function of displacement this is what we are interested in finding. How can we get that relation? Well, what we can do is we can think about dv over 
ds times ds over dt. Do you get an idea? So we can apply the chain rule and we can write dv over dt as rate of change of displacement with time times rate of change of velocity with displacement. Got it? So this is equal to dv dt. So we get a formula which says that the acceleration could be written as, as what? Now ds dt is what? Well, ds dt is, is velocity, right? So since we know that ds dt is velocity, we could write this as velocity times dv ds. Do you see that? dv ds. And therefore, we can write acceleration as velocity times dv ds. So this is the formula which I want to discuss with you in this particular video, right? So I hope you understand and appreciate how acceleration is related with velocity and displacement. That is the relation. In most of the books, we are not having many examples based on this relation, right? There are few which are thinking questions very difficult to answer. Now for you, they become simpler questions to answer, correct? Now you know, acceleration could be written as velocity times rate of change of velocity with reference to, with respect to displacement itself. And now with this formula, we can solve for acceleration, right? So acceleration could be written as velocity times dv ds. Now in this case, what is dv ds? Well, it is velocity which is 2s square. 2s square is the velocity, right? 2s square plus 5 is the velocity times the derivative of velocity, dv ds, is 4s times 4s. Do you get the idea? So if I multiply these, I get an expression for acceleration. So acceleration in this case will be 8s cube plus 20s. So that is the acceleration. Do you see that? As a function of displacement. Do you get the idea? This is extremely important example. I would like you to go through this video once again and understand that how we can find acceleration if we are given a function of velocity in terms of displacement, right? So that is that is one of the rare examples of videos which you are going to find on internet. Most of the time we are only discussing displacement, velocity and acceleration as a function of time, right? Now here is one and in this set of videos I am going to discuss some more videos where we will take velocity as a function of displacement and then find acceleration. I hope some of you will find it very interesting. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn good things, new things about any topic in mass. Thank you and all the best.